Hello everyone, my name is Omar Hassan and uh, I am going to continue CSS GSA lecture series as I have told that in my lecture number one, this is lecture number two. So in lecture number one, we have studied about uh, different types of numbers as well as the concept of uh, factors and multiples. Now in this lesson, we are going to talk about prime factorization. Uh, you may have the idea of this one, but before proceeding towards the concept of uh, LCM and HCF, this uh, concept of prime factorization needs a bit of discussion. Well, the concept of factors have been explained to you. Let's suppose we have a number and the number is 30. Now, if you want to, uh, if I ask you to find the factors of 30, then that means all those numbers which can divide 30 in such a way that uh, the remainder should be 0 or the answer should be a whole number like 1, then you have uh, 2, 30 divided by 2 is 50. 3, 30 divided by 3 is 10. No, 4 cannot be a factor of 30. We have the answer in decimals then. 5, 30 by 5 is 6. 6, 5 times 30. They have, no, they are dividing the 30 exactly and the answer is the whole numbers. 7, no. 8, no, 9, no, 10, 3 times 30, 15, 2 times 30, and 30 by 30 is 1. Well, all of these numbers are factors of 30. They can divide 30 with uh, the remainder 0. No. This is factorization. This is called factorization. The process in which you take out the factors of a number that is 30 and, and basically uh, all these numbers are factors of 30. Now the problem here is that what is prime factorization? Out of these factors, we have prime numbers, 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 5 is prime, 6 is not prime, 10 is not prime, 15 is not prime, 30 is not prime, 1 is not prime. Well, prime number means those numbers which have only two factors, one and itself. So two has two factors, one and itself. Three has got two factors, one itself. Five have got two factors, one and itself. So they are prime. While 6 is not prime, that is a composite number because 6 has got factor 1, 2 is also factor of 6, 3 is also factor of 6, 6 is also a factor of 6. So now you can see the difference. We have two factors for 2, 1 and the number itself, while 6 has how many factors? 4. So that is not a prime number. Now I have to talk about the concept of prime factorization uh, mean the factors of a number, the factors of a number which are prime. So let's move on to the concept of prime factorization. This was uh, simply the idea of factors. What is concept of a factor? Now if, if I ask you to to perform the prime factorization, 
or to express express the following as a product of its prime factors now we are going to factorize a number but the factors will be prime let's suppose we have a number 30 and this concept is to be used this concept of prime factorization is to be used in lcm and hgf the questions which we have we are getting in our papers so 30 is a number and in order to do its prime factorization the process is start start uh, factorizing it or start the division by prime number no, it should be a prime this number should be a prime number and you should start from the lowest prime number that is 2 if if 30 if 30 is not divisible by 2 let's suppose then go to 3 and then onwards but start from 2 so 2 how many times 30 15 times 30 then no is 15 divisible by 2 no then don't go for 2 what is the next prime number after 2 3 so let's have a try with 3 yes 3 how many times 15 5 times 15 no 5 is not divisible by 2 rule out it is not divisible by 3 the next prime number after 2 and 3 is 5 so the concept is use prime numbers here we are using prime numbers here to factorize 30 so 5 1 time 5 now these are factors of 30 they are a factor of 30 and they are prime so the factors of 30 which are prime now this process is called prime factorization and the question was to express this 30 as product of its prime factors now 2 3 and 5 are the prime factors of 30 and to express 30 as a product of its prime factor product mean multiplication product of prime factors mean need to express the prime factors as a product like this one so 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 5 will give you 30 and this is prime factorization of 30. So this concept is to be uh, used in that one LCM HCF. Let's take another example where we have index notation we have we, we will be involving index notation the same question do prime factorization of 100 express it in index notation let me repeat it express 100 now express this 100 as a product of its prime factors as a product of its prime factors in index notation okay this is the question no need to factorize under 100 is divisible by 2 start, we, are, we, we always we will start from 2 if if the number is not divisible by 2 then move on to the next prime number that is 3 if it is not divisible by 3 move on to the next one that is 5 and then 7 onwards so 2 50 times 100 is 50 divisible by 2 so choose 2 don't go for 3 5 until 2 is working 225 times 50 now 2 no more works over here uh, it will not divide 25 3 will not divide 25 the next prime number after 2 and 3 is 5 so 5 how many times 25 5 times and then 5 1 times 5 all these numbers are prime now they are prime factors of 100 and to express 100 as a product 
of its prime factors that is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. 2 multiplied by 2, 4 multiplied by 5, 20 multiplied by 500. This is product of prime factors of 100. Product mean multiplication. Now, what is index notation? I can write it in this way as well. 100 is equal to 2 into 2 is 2 square. 5 into 5 is 5 square. When bases are same, we have got base 2, base 2 power is 1 power is 1 here power 1 power 1 when bases are same and they are being multiplied you add the powers 1 plus 1 is 2. So expressing your prime factors in this form so that is index notation. This is the concept of index notation. Now this was a brief overview of uh, prime factors and uh, index notation. In the next lesson I will be uh, discussing the concept of HCF or LCM. Keep watching. Thank you so much.